A Hollywood movie legend, a totem pole, and the whole drama comes to a head 80 years later, right here in Hawaii. The cast of characters includes Drew Barrymore's grandfather, Vincent Price, and the Honolulu Museum of Art. You can't make this stuff up. It's a story all new, one you'll see only on KITV. All packed up and heading home. Inside these crates at the Honolulu Museum of Art sits an Alaskan totem pole that's finishing up a bizarre journey, one that started decades ago when a legendary Hollywood actor stole it. In the 1930s, there was a very famous actor, John Barrymore, and he had a yacht, and he went up the coast of Alaska, and he basically took a totem pole. You know, it's a burial totem pole. So that's not cool, and actually, Today, it's illegal. Barrymore swiped the pole from the Tuxican village on Prince of Wales Island, where dozens of totem poles once stood. Honolulu Museum of Art director Stefan Yo says when Barrymore died, actor Vincent Price's wife bought the pole for her husband, and it became the focal point of his California garden. We tracked down a picture of it in one of Price's cookbooks found at the State Library. In 1981, the Prices donated the totem pole to the Honolulu Museum of Art. The 25-foot-tall wooden piece came to the museum cut up rather crudely in three parts. The museum had no room to display all of it. The top portion was featured in the Kina'u courtyard for several years. Other than that, it's been sitting in the basement, carefully looked after by museum staff. And despite its age, it is still beautiful and striking. A hawk sits atop a man, his talons on the man's head. That man carrying a killer whale. He stands upon a wolf. A professor in Alaska recognized the pole, and Yos said the museum had no second thoughts about sending it back. We're doing the right thing, um, kind of from a moral perspective, but we're also doing the right thing from a legal perspective. Um, this is not a gray area case. This is uh, clearly a case where a uh, Native American burial funerary monument was stolen by somebody, um, and it ended up in our collection. And the moment we found out that there was a problem, we said, let's cooperate and let's make this happen. Today finds Klawak tribal representatives from Alaska here in Hawaii reclaiming the totem pole in a private ceremony and taking it home. Master carver Jonathan Rowan and others accepted the totem. This is the fifth they have repatriated, and it's not the first one, he says, to be stolen. And it's, it's happened, you know, up and down the coast, you know, at several different villages, you know. Uh, but we're very, very excited to, to get it home and to recarve a, a brand new one and then this one will go into uh, a center that will be taken care of again. They presented the museum with a gift of thanks, a traditional painted cedar box, and they finished with a dance to celebrate newfound ties. More special, yes, more special ties um, and, and being water people also. Um, when, when we were told that it was here, it was almost a relief because we knew that our peoples here were taking care of it. Now, Matson will be shipping that totem pole home to Alaska. The cost of the repatriation is being taken care of by the federal government under the NAGPRA laws, or Native American Grave Protection and Repatriation Act. This is the fifth totem Rowan and his group have welcomed home.